the oil market has gone rapid and Iraq wants to capitalize on this super bad. Let's jump into it. We're at $64 for Brent crude oil currently. All right, I hope everybody's having a great February 18th. Let's get rapid here. If you're feeling good today, please give me a thumbs up. So could price of oil go to $100 a barrel? I know Iraq sure wants that to happen. Two of the largest banks in Wall Street in the United States expect a rise in oil prices during the coming period. Financial Times newspaper, the source stated that both JP Morgan and Chase and Goldman Sachs expect oil prices to rise significantly when the pandemic recedes. So it doesn't give a, a certain date, but I'm, they're suggesting this summer. This would change the conditions in the oil sector. It's been over a year since we've seen a record high, and it went over $65 a barrel. As far as the Iraqi dinar, revaluation, reinstatement, whatever you want to call it, for Iraq to get a boost in this economic reform, this reconstruction period, this is what they need, right? They need to lower the deficit, get projects moving. The corruption needs to be under control and the money needs to be managed properly. So what do we have going on in parliament? They're, this is a couple days old, but they're talking about an exchange rate of 1200 dinars. Party blocks discussing, you know, a happy rate that everybody can agree on. So from 1200 to 1300, because the Iraqi market and the burden that it's caused on the lower income families. But there's nothing in here talking about deleting the zeros. I talked about this in my last video. Starting today, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, they're having a curfew where it's a lockdown. People have to stay home. I don't know all the details on it, but I think you, you need to know they're gonna be doing this for the next three to five weeks possibly to help oppress the new COVID variant that's hitting Iraq pretty hard right now. Let's do something fun here in the comments below. Please, in the comments, put hashtag Dinar right now. Let's get a movement going. Hashtag Dinar down in the comments right now. I want to see who wants this to take place. How many people can we impact? Come on, don't be lazy. I know you want this bad. Help us all out. We're family. We're community in this. Quick update on the vote for Baghdad against Herbal or whatever you want to call this budget debacle. Um... Maybe a vote next week. We're looking at it. Looks like they might be coming to an agreement. We'll see something happen maybe over the weekend. But with the oil prices so high right now and the expectations coming for this summer could mean good things. Iraqi Parliament is already talking about uh, the presentation of a new budget in the coming months. So they're going to get this budget passed, have a supplement budget. It was talked about in yesterday's articles. And then another budget will just kind of like cancel out the old budget because of the oil prices. So they are very optimistic and it really shows you how much oil controls this country and the outlook of Iraq and even the Middle East countries. The committee members, a fixed price of selling a barrel of oil at $45 within the 2021 budget law. Okay, and the oil is currently sold at 65, right? Roughly around there. And this price is subject to increase during the coming period, as I just told you earlier in this video, according to experts in all studies. So just as I said, they have the previous budget and they want to distribute to all the Iraqi provinces according to the need of the projects and others and the parliament will carefully monitor the funds and the way to spend it through a supplementary budget so that is far from a suspicious of waste so this was a this was interesting to me the parliament will carefully monitor these funds and in the way to spend it through a supplementary budget so that it is far from any suspicious or waste so back to the corruption it kind of scares me to see that parliament we're just going to have to see if corruption is being dealt with and now that everybody's eyeballs are just dollar signs i hope i hope and i pray that this actually changes iraq for the better guys and girls thanks for being on this rapid iraq video make sure you subscribe and we'll see you on the next rapid updates video